Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, one day away from getting Adeline on everyone's accounts who's been doing this so far. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. I don't know how I feel about it. But um, I will say there's a few people that are newer players that are, that are saying, I'm getting perception gear here instead of my life still gear, which is ruining my account for a new player. And I kind of get it. From what I understand is once you've done the full kind of like 14 days, you then get a bunch of lifesteal gear after that, is what I'm being told. So, but the trouble is, honestly, that's that's quite late for a new player. So, sucks a bit, honestly. But uh, I can't change it. I've fed it back. Can't really change it. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. In today's video then, so I've got Eastrid waiting to be summoned. All right, game, come on, let me in, let me in. I've got Eastrid waiting to be summoned, and I am going for the soul. Uh, I know that I did a video yesterday saying that, look, you can do it with energy. Um, mainly with energy and champion training or tavern and champion training if you really want to push for that soul. But I also saw Saf did a video where he called out probably would be about 10k energy to get that soul, which sounds like an incredible amount, but you probably get at least half of that just from playing the game on a daily basis. So yeah, it's going to be some gem commitment if you want to go further than that. But yeah, we're going to do a soul. There is also a promo code bouncing around. I want to say thanks to Laz, who uh, sent this through to me on a DM. So promo code, we have got spring hunt 24. What do we get? Is it 10,000 energy? No, but it is close. It is 100 energy. So we can grab that and use that as we see fit. Uh, I am going to do my souls in this video as well. So we're going to get my souls done. Before I do, I just want to call out Super exciting video today on Fateless, which is gonna go live probably maybe like an hour after this one. I'll put a link to it because I've got it on like a YouTube premiere pre alpha release of Fateless. What does that mean? I'm actually gonna show in game footage for the first time. The first time we've had an executable um, where I can actually log in to my game and um, and show you some gameplay. It's it's ropey as hell, right? Because it's the first one we've done. But I'm still really, really proud of, of how far we've come in the first few months. So uh, you should come and watch it. I will link it down below. And if you haven't already, sub to the channel. We do like weekly drops of content around, you know, some of the stuff we're releasing and yeah, and when. So really appreciate if you come and support that. Because uh, I know a lot of you are asking, when is that game on its way? Well, Right now, on my desktop, I have a game. It's there. I can literally load it up and play it. So that's super cool, super cool. That's our first big milestone release. Um, okay, let's get into souls here. I bought, uh, I, I'm always transparent with this stuff. I don't often buy souls, but there was one pack yesterday which felt not horrendous. So I picked that up. Uh, oh man, these are the sort of ones, you know, these are the, this is what I want. But it's so hard to say for that. So hard to say for that. Uh, anyway, let's top these up. Did some running yesterday. So 134 small boys, 15 in the mids, which I think will give me a good chunk of the points that I now need to get my five-star soul for Eastrid. So uh, I guess I should just tweak my wish list here. I've got a second newt that I want to soul for. Harima, I've now got actually a, a big boy. I think I've got four-star now on Harima. So don't want to put her in there. You kind of want either your big Hydra champions or your big PvE champions, but mainly PvP champions for souls. And when I say big, I mean like you know, a Rotus for me is if when I play Live Arena, he's in most of my squads. Yeah, right now, Narsus, because I got a six-star soul, easily wins out for me in arena stuff, even, even when I've got the lizard. Narcissus is the way to go for me right now. So, you know, he's he's one of my kind of big squad. Who do I want other than the newt for a legendary? Because the wish list kind of works nowadays. Who am I using a lot in general gameplay that I want to boost a soul for? It's actually quite tricky. A bigger Acrisia soul could be useful for my Hydra teams. I actually use Supreme Dalek in my big Hydra team right now. You might be surprised to know that. Like my... My big Hydra team, it's not, I don't do like a, a Trunda type team at the moment. Uh, maybe I should. But I use 
What if I've done a great here? Oh, yeah, okay, not bad. 340. Double a Crisia, a Duchess, Crisk, Grazure, and Supreme Galek. Um, and he comes in with decent numbers, honestly. 30, 37 odd mil, which, you know, this team consistently hitting like over 300 million on Nightmare on full auto, which, um, which fills my heart with glee. Like, not going to buy anymore. So yeah, so I think I will actually pump in the second Acrisia and just try and get a better soul for her. Because I just use my Acrisias in a lot of content. Where are we? We've got to be at the top. Okay. But really, we're looking for three star or more. Ideally, I'd love three or four star for my newts. That'd be cool. It's not really epics that I'm hunting for, but I'll leave these ones in. My whisper's already kind of big, actually. But okay, let's go. Let's go. I would say if you're not going for this uh, Eastrid soul, don't pull any soul stones right now. It's not the time. It's not the time for you. Elder Scarred, one star, whatever. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing my other mythical champion as well so I could do a decent video on him. Giz, Gizmal, Gizmac. Um, can't remember his name. But I do have a mythical that I'm waiting to do a video on, but I want some sort of soul for him. Obviously, I can't put any of those on a wish list, so it's just random potluck. Crazy, though. Pulled most of them. Suzerain there, pretty good for Hydra. Come on. Three star rear guard. We know where she guards. Woad painted. Not actually bad for Amius, honestly. Runekeeper, pretty decent champ as well. Another legendary here. The one-star newt. I mean, even a one-star newt gives him some sort of utility and some sort of benefit in, you know, um, Phantom's Grove. It's not great, but you start to get a lot of stats. There's a legendary. That's like another 7.5k health. Newt's just picked up. Corvus is a four-star. It's quite a cool one. Another thing I meant to call out in this video, actually, which I'll do at the end, we are in the voting, five-star grappler, we are in the voting for the Vault Keeper's second skill right now. Actually, I'm going to bring it up at the end of this, and uh, we'll have another quick look through. I've done a video on it in general, but um, I guess I'll make my vote, and I'll talk you through why I'm doing that. So we'll do that at the end. Plenty of rares, double star, double star, uh, two star on Blood Gorged. Might have been my first ever legendary, him or Kaimar. I think maybe Kaimar, then him. Booked him out fully, thought he was amazing. Uh, clearly he is not. Carillon, don't own him. Okay, not much there. All of these one stars. Two star Arix. I know a lot of people, or quite a lot of people, like him for Live Arena. I've seen some people do some pretty interesting solo stuff with him as well on like Hard Spider, which is uh, pretty cool. A one star on a Crazy Earth is not enough. I've already got a two. I was hoping for a three or more. Four stars where legendary starts to get pretty juicy, honestly. Uh, three star Garou. I've already got a, a six star waiting for me to pick up this champ. Interesting that it shows like this emblem, almost as if it's saying, yeah, you've got this champion. I definitely do not. <laughs> I definitely do not. Uh, okay, I need to make a bit of room. Okay, then. We've got 34 more of the small ones before we go into the mid ones. Mistress. Nothing there. Go on, light me up with a big nuke. Go on. One star Elva. I've got, I think I've already got like five star on Elva. Another gold. Three star on Vitreus. Don't own him. Anything juicy coming in. Anything juicy. Go on. I'll take anything right now. Like just some cheeky five or six star would be very awesome. 
four star rock breaker. Actually worth using that. I do use him in some of the Cintrano stuff. Uh, we're onto like small fellas now. Four more. Epic two star Nia. I've got a video where I showcase a couple of the best free to players on our competition coming up. And uh, one of them uses Nia like you would not believe. Absolutely outstanding. Probably going to come out as a video on Thursday because I'm away Thursday to Saturday this week. But yeah, outstanding work, honestly. Uh, okay, not much in the small ones. Right, 15 then, mid ones. Come on, give me something worth having. Something worth having is what we're after. A five-star drink. I don't actually own drink. Mr. Fusion back in the day for whatever reason. And I'll keep hold of that because that's well worth. Six-star hope. We hope she gets better at this game. Five more. So a six-star hound spawn. It's kind of interesting, actually, because hound spawn does some damage. Like, Houndspawn's kind of fun in a very niche comp. Might pop, might pop something out for him. Three-star bishop. Do use my bishop. Might already have three. I'm not sure. Another legendary. What we got? Four-star Krizia. We'll take that. Oh, we'll take it at the end. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That is nice. That just gave my Krizia another 38%, I think, crit damage. Um, so that is humongous. Four-star souls and above, absolutely, like, game-changing, honestly. Three-star Errol, not bad. Um, yeah, damn. I was going to say, why can't I do my Krizia? Krizia popping up, four-star, bam. We'll take it, we'll take it. Uh, I wonder if that's got me on this uh, hunting for the other soul here. Did a bunch of grind yesterday. 70 odd case. That's enough now for me to get. I, I will say, I've, I showed a video yesterday where this one here costs 7k. And this one here costs 12.5k. People were like, your thing looks different to mine. I was like, oh, that's weird. And I checked it and it was still the same. And then I checked it again because a few people had said and it had changed. So somewhere along the way, uh, Raid thought they were being a bit too cheeky generous with now I need to decide what direction actually with this stuff maybe 10 of this is better now maybe 10 of this is better uh oh not quite there so i just need to do a little bit more grind today but she is coming home real soon for the big boy soul uh, okay last thing then let's just check out this champion skill set for um for what's his name wix wixwell wixwell um, so he's got locked in now his A3. Okay, his A3 is going to be places two intercept stacks on an ally, gives increased defense buff and a shield buff to the, t uh, to the team, proportional to this guy's defense. What this does mean is now when we're voting on skill two, we kind of have to, uh, you know, I guess to hold that into account, right? There's no point now giving him skills up base off of attack when we already need to build his, his defense up. So this time around then, let's just zoom in a touch. The damage one is attack all enemies before attacking places increase attack on this champion. <laughs> it's, it's almost impossible now to choose this one. I did get a DM from someone recently saying they spoke to a mod and the damage level of these skills for attack was meant to be something like a Georgid, right? Now, this is the problem. We need all the information. We can't make that call unless we know that type of stuff. But still, I haven't seen any multipliers. So it's still, a, it's too scary a prospect. Attacks all enemies, places, um, probably books to 100% decrease attack. Also increases the duration of buffs and gives big shields. So what this is going to do is it's going to extend the duration, of, uh, not extend the duration, well, it will actually, but it will increase the proportion of shields and then extend the duration of all buffs. This is a bit like Brogni linked up with an Anchorite or something. Like it's, it's a pretty big skill. Albeit the only place where I've seen shield extension be super strong is Clan Boss. 
Yeah, and I mean, this guy with a Brogny could end up being completely nuts for that um, with this ability. The last ability here attacks all enemies, puts poison sensitivity out, and activates poisons. This, by the way, could be a good shout. Even with, the sh with this skill that we've already got in involved here, a poison activator is actually nuts, right? So this is, I, I, I guess most people are going to pick this skill. But I actually think, for me, because he's not going to put the poisons out himself. You just need to put him with someone who does. And then you've got yourself a poison activator, which is actually like a mammoth damage dealer in a lot of content. I guess it falls off super endgame because poison becomes less and less effective the further you get through the game. But, you know, one of the reasons why Teodor is so sought after is because of his poison activation. Um, you know, you could end up two man in him with someone else with poison activation and his ability to keep people alive. It's kind of cool. I actually really like this. I actually really like this. Poison sensitivity means the poisons will do more damage as well. You will have to pair him, though, with someone else. Oh man, this is so difficult. Like this is such a good skill. And this is such a or well, it's a pretty unique skill. There's not that many poison activators in the game. Instantly activates any poisons on all enemies. What it doesn't do, and so it's a single activation rather than someone like a uh, Xavier who combusts all poison, all ticks of all poison. This would just be like one layer of poison. Oh, so difficult. I feel like. I feel like I, I'm interested in this, but just because of that first skill, this feels more relevant to his kit. Oh, that's a tricky one. I'm going to go with this. If it, was, if it was combusts, I think I would have gone with the A3, but just to activate one layer, it's still really good. But yeah, that's where I'm going. Let me know what you're doing down below. Don't forget to come and join uh, the live kind of like broadcast of that fainteness video. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.